morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I am going to be talking you through how I created this really natural dewy glam look. I use quite a few products and most of them are really really affordable so let's get into this tutorial. When it comes to everyday makeup I like it to be really light, really natural and not too heavy although I do use quite a bit of product. But before everything, I always go in with simple light moisturiser. This just really helps to make my skin feel nice and comfortable when the makeup goes on. Also going to go in with a lip balm just so that my lips are nice and hydrated when it comes to over outlining. Yesterday I shaved and it has left quite a bit of irritation. This always happens, it doesn't matter what I use, whether it's a special kind of foam, special aftercare, a different razor, electric, everything. It just seems to really agitate my skin. So. Because I do want to go in with just a light coverage foundation, I really need to cover up this redness. So for my first product, I'm going to go in with W7's Green Colour Corrector. I like to just warm this up with my finger first. It's quite a stiff product, especially when it's in the container. So I'm just using my fingers just to heat some of the product up. When applying this, it's best just to use your finger. If you go in with a brush and a beauty sponge, it's just going to get them messy. It doesn't really do anything different and your finger actually works the best for this. Now that we've colour corrected, I'm going to go in with primer and for primer today I'm going to be using two different kinds. For the first primer today I'm going to be using Nixie's Pore Filler. For my next primer, I'm going to go in and use NYX Angel Veil. This primer makes your skin feel so smooth. I'm going to be avoiding where I put that pore filler. It's already been primed and I really don't want to disturb that product. I want to let it set in and do its thing. I'm going to go in with foundation and today I'm going to be using Revlon foundation. This is such a comfortable foundation and one of my all-time favourites. The coverage is amazing but it feels so light and comfortable on the skin. I'm just going to put some on my hand, quite a few drops, that was about three. And I'm going to go in with L'Oreal Paris' Glow Monomura Glow Drops. This is just going to help give that skin that luminosity that I really, really want. It's a very confident dropper. So I skip concealer for everyday makeup. I know so many of you are going to be like, what? But the reason for this is because this foundation covers up everything. I'm actually going to be bringing that foundation all over the eyelids as well. Now that we are all one shade, something that doesn't change, whether it's glam or natural, is me setting my face. I have to set my face. I know that so many people would leave it like this and go out and completely enjoy themselves well, probably finish it off a little bit more, but I mean foundation wise, if I were to leave mine like this, I would become such an oily mess. I have combination skin, so when it comes to setting the face, it's a must. For setting, I'm going to be taking Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Ivory as always my number one favourite. How many people's face is cracking after watching this? Now that the face is all set, I'm going to be moving on to bronzing. For bronzer, I'm going to be taking my Morphe 9C palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here. This is the perfect shade if you have the same skin tone as me. It has a red undertone which is perfect for people that have a pink undertone in their skin. So I'm just taking this on a sculpting brush, dipping in a couple of times and I'm going to bronze my whole face. I'm also just putting some on the tip of the nose. This is just going to help bring a little wash of colour through the whole face. This right here is one of my most favourite products. This is the Eye and Cheek Palette by Tarte. So this shade right here works both as a bronzer for me as well as a blush. So it really helps bring that life back into the face that I feel is missing. And because I'm so pale and then I go in with bronzer, I just feel like there's one shade in between that's kind of missing. And this is that shade. Taking it on that same fluffy brush, I'm just going to dust it on the high points of the cheek. So where the blush would be versus the contour, but I'm not going to bring it anywhere else in the face.
You guys will notice I use a lot of pink undertone makeup. The reason for this is because I naturally have a pink undertone, so when you put foundation on, you cover all of that up and you're very neutral. Still want to look like me, so I bring back that nice rosy blush colour that's naturally through my skin, just a little bit more polished and a little bit more tamed. To make my skin look that little bit more healthy, I'm just going to spray some setting spray, and this is the Set Prep and Refresh by Revlon. So for my next product, I'm going to go in with some blush. And for blush, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Dream Blush Palette. Now it's time for the brows, and I like them to be really natural, really fluffy, and really light. To do this, I'm going to be taking Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. I'm going to be taking some Conceal and Define on a flat concealer brush and just cleaning up the line, but only a tiny amount. Now moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking the Colourpop palette, Give It To Me Straight. This is what it looks like, and this is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's a lot of bronzy, really glowy shades. For my transition shade, I'm going to be taking this shade right here called Downright. Dipping into that with a fluffy blending brush by Morphe, I'm just going to work this through the crease and diffuse it as we get to the edge of the eye. As you guys can tell, this has a really rosy tint to it. As I said, I like to keep that pink undertone throughout the whole makeup, even the eyes. I just feel like it really helps complement my skin. The next shade, I'm going to be taking this one right here. This is called Truth Hearts, and I'm also going to be blending that through the crease and placing it all over the lid. Oh, these studio lights are warm. Now to connect the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking a bullet brush by Morphe and dipping back into that shade Truth Hearts. Even though this is a natural makeup look, I love to go in with really dark contour shades. The reason for this is because I have greenish blue eyes and this will really help to exaggerate them. I'm going to be adding a little bit more definition with this shade right here. This is called BS. Right in the inner corner, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, this is called Up Front, and just lightly tapping from the inner corner outwards. I really want to stop probably where my pupil is, I don't want to go any further, that would be going into the outer V and really creating a very all over glow eye. I really want to concentrate this mainly on the inner corner. Now that it's diffused, I'm going to go in and start applying a little bit more and slowly building it up. Now it's time for highlighting and to carry that theme of rosiness, I'm going to be taking one of my most favourite drugstore highlighters. This is the iHeart Revolution, which is Makeup Revolution's sister company. These are their heart highlighters and this one is called Goddess of Love. This is so blinding for a drugstore highlight. I hope you guys can see that, but this has a really pink reflex to it. I'm going to be taking my favourite brush for highlighting, which is the Setting Brush by Rude Techniques. Switching to a small detailer brush, I'm going to highlight the brow bone. So now that we've done the eyeshadow and highlight, I'm going to further intensify that nice and natural glowy look by setting my face again. Now that we're done with powder, I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and I'm going to set these brows. For lips today, I'm going to be using none other than Revlon Lip Liner. Overall, this lip liner will appear quite dark, but it is the exact same shade as my lips, which is why I go in with it. I'm keeping it as natural as possible.
I am really satisfied with how I lip lined them. It went really easy today, which is not like any other day. But now I'm going to be moving on to lipstick. I'm going to be taking Revlon's Beta Fair. Going back to the eyes, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then it's time for mascara. This mascara right here is called It's Brown by W7. Really, really affordable. So that completes today's tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is my version of a natural everyday makeup. This is my go-to products that I always use, my current favourites and ones that I just really, really trust and love. This was one of the most requested videos that I've had since beginning YouTube, which is so exciting. If you did enjoy this video, then remember to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. It would mean everything to me. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed this look, what your favourite current products are and your favourite drugstore products. I would love to check them out. So all of the products used in today's tutorial will be linked in the description below so be sure to check that out. Also this is my Instagram handle right here. Feel free to send me a DM and we can chat and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh my back! My back! Oh.